A lot of people don't know that you can actually check your spelling here inside of InDesign. Up under the edit menu is spelling. Let's choose check spelling. Also note the keyboard shortcut there, command or control I. So choose check spelling and a very normal type of dialog box pops up that you would have seen a thousand times before. Okay, let's change is to one with a capital. Change, hey, spelling is totally word. Fine, I'll change it. Spelling, change, you guys get the idea. I'll just choose done. And let's just undo a couple of steps just there. Many of you will actually like that little red squiggle popping up dynamically under misspelt words. If you do like that option, up under edit, spelling again, dynamic spelling. If we turn that on, there's those little red squiggles showing misspellings and other little, for example, green squiggles just up here showing you in this case a capitalization issue. There's a couple of preferences, guys, that I'd also like to point out that might come in handy for you. Now, if you're on a Mac, that will be under the InDesign menu and preferences. If you're on a PC, that's going to be at the bottom of the edit menu. So I'm going into preferences and we are looking for spelling. There's a few options which you can turn on or off just up here under the find section. That dynamic spelling section, which I showed a moment ago with the red squiggles, you can also turn that on and off from here. But what's nice about this area in the preferences is that you can actually take greater control of, for example, repeated words. They should be in blue, for example, or uncapitalized words should be in magenta, should you need. There's also another section within the preferences for dictionary. Now there's some cool options you can change. For example, you've got some double quote options here, single quote options here as well. But the main one I wanted to point out for you is this language section just up here, where you can change the language should you need to. So that's it there guys, a very quick video uh, helping you do some spell checking here inside of InDesign. Catch you later.